Welcome, everyone. Adam the Woo here. That's what that guy is saying. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! He got him a new suit, and I have actually left a breath mark on this closed suit store window. But I think that guy's exuberance has probably also left breathy marks on the glass. That is a very stoked mannequin. It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. It's the Daily Woo, this suit store, this clothing establishment that sells these Vittorelli Italy, Vittorelli Italy, I cannot talk, suits is actually closed on a Saturday. So it must be a Monday through Friday thing. But this Daily Woo vlog, this unedited vlog that I have done for way past a thousand days without missing a day is done every single day, seven days a week. You will find me going out on weird adventures just like this t-shirt says, the Adam the Woo Adventure shirt, which I actually purchased my own shirt over on adamthewoo.spreadshirt.com. You can get this shirt as well as other designs in any size, any shape, any color. And I chose this one to be in red. And this little drawing of me that my good friend Justin Scard did a few years ago is actually starting to look more and more like me because he is getting thinner. This is thin just like me. I am starting to lose some weight. I've actually lost 22 pounds so far. I think I'm day 34 or 35 into this weight loss. Water only for drinking. I only drink water instead of soda, instead of milk, instead of coffee, instead of cream and sugar in my beverages, as well as juice. All I am drinking is water and it is paying off handsomely. I've actually lost 21 or 22 pounds so far. I still have a ways to go. I would like to get back to my early 90s, my early mid 90s fighting weight. I am not a fighter, but I still want to get down to my fighting weight, my healthiest weight I've ever been in my life. And I'm very excited about my progression so far through this diet plan. But this vlog is not about suits. It's not about excited mannequins. It's not about how much weight I have lost and how stoked I am on that or the shirts that you can get on adamthewoo.spreadshirt.com. What I'm going to show you is here at the crossroads of Sycamore Street and Santa Ana Boulevard. And the reason I give you these coordinates is because a lot of people at home that are playing along at home or playing along on their smartphones enjoy going to the crossroads of these said roads on Street View and looking at Google Street View or Satellite View, depending on whether you use Google, or whether you use Bing, or any other satellite honing device mechanism on the interwebs that you so choose. So play along at home. Look where we are. Look where we are right now. I'm standing in the middle of this road. Luckily, it is a weekend. There's not a whole heck of a lot of traffic driving around here, so we are not going to get mowed down. I have something very exciting to show you. It is the old Orange County Courthouse built in 1901. That is way before I was even a glimmer in my parents' eyes and way before my parents were even a glimmer in their parents' eyes. Think about that. That is crazy. This historical building has been here a heck of a long time. So prepare yourself now for the very creepy and majestic old courthouse of Orange County here in Santa Ana, California. That's my creepy, that's my creepy music, my creepy reveal music. And down here, they are going to be revealing the Orange County Centennial Time Capsule in 2089. Now that is a long time away. I will probably not be around for the said opening of this time capsule that's actually right directly underneath us. So maybe you will be around. I will probably not be around unless I live to be a very old man coming out here with my shovel and helping the city of Santa Ana open up the Orange County Centennial Time Capsule. Do some research. Do some Columbo-like research. See if you can figure out what did they actually plant underneath these plants. There's plants and then there's a time capsule planted underneath the plants. Go online, Google search, do some, re I always use the term Columbo-like research because I love Peter Falk. I love the detective work of Peter Falk in Columbo, my favorite police show of all time. Take all the other ones that you've seen, 
they are minuscule in my opinion compared to Columbo and how awesome Peter Falk was. That's why I always use the reference Columbo-like skills. Speaking of television, this location was actually used in a television show. Last week I visited the house from the first season of American Horror Story, The Murder House. If you didn't see it, go back a few days. I think it was middle of last week I went to that up in Los Angeles. This is in Orange County, and this was actually used, I think, do not quote me on this, for the second season of American Horror Story. And I believe that season was titled Asylum. And this, ladies and gentlemen, was the Asylum. Awesome. And if you're familiar with that show, you know that all the exteriors were used as well as that staircase, some of the windows, and you can go online, do a search online. We're doing a lot of recognizant research today. You guys at home are doing a little at-home homework. That's why it's called homework, because you're doing it at home, or you could be doing it while you're walking around. If you're good at walking and Googling and searching the interwebs, does anyone ever use Yahoo search anymore? Yahoo or AOL search or is Google Google pretty much runs search engines I think they are the number one search engine leave some comments down below if you know another search engine which might not be as popular as Google but perhaps is better than what Google is you probably will not find a more popular search engine than Google so go on Google or whatever search engine you use and look up what was I gonna say look up screenshots from this exact angle, you will see that this is the angle from American Horror Story Asylum. They made this place look super creepy. They had some creepy trees around here. The camera angle was very low, just like this. And you notice in shows and movies and TV, whenever the camera angle is super low like this, it gives you an ominous, creepy atmosphere. And it's even more creepy when you have a cup-like hand. My hand is actually a cup of horror for American, I don't know what I'm doing. The American Horror Story Asylum, right here, the old Orange County Courthouse. Now, I'm not gonna title this filming locations of American Horror Story because there have been a heck of a lot of TV shows. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is really weird. A few days ago, I was at the American Horror Story filming locations of season one up in LA, and there was a crow walking around. Rewind that. Listen. There is a crow up there in that palm tree. I'm not exaggerating. Seriously, I do not see him, but you can hear him crowing, which makes me wonder. A few days ago, when I was in LA, and that crow, I gotta wonder if that's the crow from Los Angeles. Flew down here 30 miles down to Orange County to follow me for this vlog. There is a haunted American horror story crow following us around vicariously, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot experience the horror that I am feeling, but that is very chilling. There's a crow up in that tree and it might Look, right there, right there is a crow. See him? What the heck is going on here? You following me, crow? Oh my gosh, there's a, there's a murder of crows. A murder of crows refers to if there's more than one crow, if there's a group of crows, they call it a murder of crows. The murder house last week. Now there's a murder of crows up there. I do not know. I do not know what is going on out here. There are a lot of people here for something. There's a museum inside that's actually open during the weekdays, but there must be some sort of special event inside. A lot of people use this facade for wedding photos, graduation photos, and events inside, but it's not open to the public today, so these people may have pre-planned what time they were going to meet out here and go inside this. Also, there were other TV shows mentioned in here. I think somebody actually mentioned that maybe an episode of Andy Griffith's show was actually filmed here. I do not know if that is true. Maybe you could help me out by researching that. 
as well as a movie starring Reese Witherspoon. What was the name of that movie? It was not Sweet Home Alabama, but there was another Reese Witherspoon movie that was filmed in here, and the courthouse scenes were filmed inside the interiors of this building. Does anyone know what the name of that Reese Witherspoon movie was? All right, let me give you a moment of quietness. Let me show you around the Orange County Courthouse. I did not mean to turn this into a filming location video. Look at these flowers. There's lots of flowers, just the heads. Look, look at this. Someone has dislocated the flowers. Does anyone know what that means? Is that maybe a memorial of some sort? And what kind of flowers are those? Are those, are those petunias? I don't know why I assume every flower is called a petunia. All right, moment of quietness. I'll show you the orange county courthouse. I did not need, mean to turn this into a movie filming location spot. I just wanted to show you the fantastic historical Orange County Courthouse. All right, let's walk around, show you the courthouse. Moment of quiet, and it starts right now. Okay, moment of quietness has been ruined by the gentleman over there blasting his music. He decided to ruin the moment of quietness. Back to moment of quietness. Pretty awesome. I guess we should just pretty much sum this up as this being a very unusual Saturday. The creepy crows, you could probably hear them, and I got a really cool low down shot of when the bell was tolling down low and you could see the magnificent courthouse. And here is the El Camino real bell, a replica of the original highway markers placed along US Highway 101 to denote the historical trails of the missions this bell was installed with the cooperation and approval of the California Mission Trail Association. There it is, the El Camino Bell. All right, very cool. That guy is actually documenting this fantastic spot as well. If you like these vlogs, if you like what I do, please feel free to subscribe. It's absolutely free. It does not cost anything to hit subscribe and you will stay updated on what I am doing on a daily basis. I will see you tomorrow. Trust me, I will, but only if you subscribe. Thanks so much, goodbye.